other. Hi there, I'm Terry. Um, I just want to let you know a little bit about my journey um, going to the church, the Catholic Church, getting away from the Catholic Church, and now finding the true church, the true home, with all you blessed, wonderful people that I get to share this experience in my life with every week, and I do appreciate it, and I love it from the bottom of my heart. All right, I'm going to go a little hard here. Um, right now, what's going on in this world with these poor children being trafficked and all this horror that these kids are going through, I know firsthand experience, okay? And how easy and how good and sneaky these people are that can come and get you, get your kids right underneath your nose because it happened to me, okay? So I understand it. Well, this made me, of course, upset, scared, ashamed, nowhere to go, nowhere to run, nobody to talk to, nowhere to seek any kind of solace, except for the church. And Father Thomas, this wonderful, wonderful, beautiful man who let me go there, I didn't want to say anything to him because I was too scared. He would think I was a bad kid, a horrible child. And why did I deserve this? What did I do wrong? I didn't. None of them do either. Please, this happens to one out of every three girls, one out of every five boys every day. All right, if nothing else, if you know anybody, and I know I'm not alone up here. I know I'm not. I'm probably not alone in this room, okay? Anybody that you, that you know happens, this happens to, let them know two things. It's not your fault. You didn't deserve it. Say it with me. It's not your fault. You didn't deserve this. Very powerful that they know that, that they have something to cling to like that. Very important. Okay, so I ran to the church. Yes, I did. Because the following year happened to me again by somebody even closer to me. Once again, right under the parent's nose. All right, it's not strangers. It's people that you know. All right, so... I went to the church and I decided, I'm going to be a nun. That way, nobody can hurt me. No man will touch me. I will be a bride of Christ. That's how the Catholic Church thinks of nuns and sisters. Well, I studied hard. I did the Station of the Cross every day with Father Thomas, every day. And he taught me one thing that was so important. He taught me to forgive my trespassers, to forgive them. And I did. And I grew through my church all through high school. I enjoyed it. And then I went, right the year before college, I was date raped. And this was my final straw with the Lord. I was like, I trusted you. I came to you over and over. That's it. So there was my exile. Thank you, King Gideon. And here's now my return. Okay? Okay, so it's all full circle. It's all full circle, people. So for a long time, yes, I went down the wrong road. Ran with the wrong crowds had bad relationships, abusive, um, physically abusive, mentally and emotionally abusive, because still in my heart, I was that little kid that didn't think I deserved, didn't deserve it. Well, I did wrong. I did, this is how it should be. So then I met my true love of my life. And we both were missing something. As he said last week, we were both missing something. And it was this, it was them, it was you. This is what we were missing. We needed that full, whole nature of the Lord to embrace us. So here was my return. <laughs> and we were so lucky to, to meet with, um, I think the first time we went to Elka and Greg's, that's our first meeting, and we met th the father. And the following Sunday, we were here. And that was it. And then, of course, we went to the Freedom Rally, and we had the ribs, and we were sold. We're done. We got to come back just for the ribs. Fantastic. So I just want to thank all of you so much from the bottom of my heart, my husband as well. And I just want to leave with this. So many people came to us when we were at the rally um, over at Tommy Gun, And so many people said, how hard was it for you to jump from Catholicism to our, our way of thinking and our church? And I was like, it was freedom. You finally got to ask questions. It wasn't, no, that's just because that's the way it is. We finally got to have fun and enjoy praise and laugh in church. Oh, you couldn't do that before. Um, now we have a great time. It is, it's freeing. It's wonderful. And 
I am, like I said, so grateful to be, find, find a place of people who think like me, who enjoy freedom, and who love God. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.